How to easily defeat the Supreme Inspector in Chapter 6. Welcome back to Black Myth Wukong. Welcome back to Blue Blue Gaming. As soon as you enter the fight, you're going to have three seconds to dodge his incoming attack. As soon as you see the health bar. So now you see it. One, two, three. Dodge. Full combo. Cloud steps to get close to him. Full combo. Don't worry about his parrying. Full combo. Hey, Leo. Dodge a bit. And full combo again. Don't worry about what's happening. Immobilize. Call your clones. Go next to him. Give him this uh, period butt cheeks. Oh, God damn you. Full combo once again. Because this boss has like three phases and it's gonna be goddamn demented. Dodge, dodge from over there. Hey, Leo, mama. One, two, three. Hey, Leo. One, two. Don't use any health. There's no reason to do that yet. Cloud step to get close. Give him a fully charged one, goddamn him. You got this mental. Recover your health. Full combo while he's staggered. Hey, Leo. Doesn't matter if you don't land the final blow at this point. Hey, Leo. You keep dodging when you don't understand what he's doing. Jumping attacks are good also to close your distance. Yeah, man, already, goddamn you. Immobilize. I mean, since you have the spell, why not? Give him a full charge one. Staggered again, you goddamn little shit. Hey, Liu, you got this mental brother. Call Guangzi to take this goddamn phase two. This is phase two, actually. He should have, he should have been uh, phase three already, but uh, <laughs> the game really wanted to see all this crap. <laughs> phase two, you don't do anything. Let Guangzi take it for the team, Habibi. You just try to dodge them. That's all you do. Dodge. Dodge, yes, triangle, ah oh, yes, baby brother, if you hit him with uh, the square button a bunch of times, you're gonna set this guy on fire, but uh, we don't care about that, to be honest, you just, uh, you know, allow him to do all these spills, hey Leo, Christ, you got the mental brother, hey Leo, now all you gotta do, holy Jesus, make sure you don't die by his hand, recover your health whenever you can, because he's gonna go phase three, at this point, uh, he doesn't have a goddamn choice, does he? Ah, he tried. He tried, Habibi. He tried. Give him a full combo if you get, if you manage to dodge that attack. But you really want to go phase three because you have a vessel that's gonna make the fight incredibly easy. Give him a charge one if you have. The, uh, okay, phase three. You didn't have the opportunity. <laughs> I think you can actually dodge phase three somehow if you keep attacking him somehow. We're gonna use the vessel straight away, straight away, then we have two full combos, straight away use the vessel, two full combos, a charge one, a fully charged one, and then another full combo, let's see how that goes, come on already, god damn you, it's a bit far, one full combo, doesn't even matter if you land it, second full combo, charge, charge, give him the fully charged one, to stagger him, ah, you didn't stagger, full combo since we're here, right, get out of this, get out of this, get, get away, don't worry about anything, just simply dodge. Watch your enemy run like this on the side. Dodge. Dodge. We already know this phase. One, two, three. Dodge. One, two. Dodge. Wait for the opportunity, which is the... This is... Damn, I'm already, god damn you. When he lands with the sword, I'm gonna show you in a second. That is a good opportunity. We have so many health, so much health, so you can actually recover to be full health. Wait for the opportunity. Hey, wait for the opportunity. Give him a fully charged one. This is gonna land, so don't worry. Hello! You stagger, so full combo. Uh, land the final blow! Hook. Be patient, dodge. Exactly like that. Full combo to land some hits. And remember, guys, you can actually use some potions also. I didn't use potions, but you can enhance your attacks and all that. You can fully charge, it's gonna land. Nah, he interrupted me actually. Wait, no worries. Full combo once again. <laughs> Come on already, god damn you. You already know this phase. One, two, three. Recover your health if you need. Recover your health, don't get greedy. This is how you're gonna do this. Give him a jumping attack to close your distance. 
and die. Come on already, die. God damn this phase, man. God damn you already defeated the Supreme Inspector and congratulations, guys. Gonna show you the equipment and the sparks. Stood up, obviously. We were level 82, I think. Or 83, I'm not sure. Anyways, Yaksha Mask of Outrage because significantly increases attack when health is low, so you want that. Got the Serpus K battle rope for HP continu continuously recovering. Non-pure gauntlet, centipede gators of transcendence. You got the Tridacna pendant for spell cooldown. Extra stamina with this one and extra uh, damage on light attacks you got the golden loom staff you got the plain same fan which is the vessel that you're gonna get by defeating the yaksha king and you need it over here so use it in the last phase wandering white spirit upgraded to maximum i didn't use any decoctions whatsoever uh, we've got uh, stamina and martial art and a bit of survival because at a certain point you don't know what to do with the points anymore with the sparks. You got the smash stance, only one, you don't need three of them. And you got the focus points, which you need all of them. Immobilizing spell, all the dots, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it if you find it helpful. Subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.